Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web. Today we're gonna to talk about the brand new HJC ARFA 12. What's up, SpeedX fan? Before we get into the brand new ARFA 12 from HJC, do us a favor. You know I was gonna ask, subscribe real quick, be up to date, get the first look at the latest gear and make excellent buying decisions. All you have to do is click that button to keep getting the latest drops from us here at Speed Addicts. Also, while I'm asking for things, could you shop with us? That's what keeps the lights on around here. There's gonna be a link in the description below. They'll take you right over to the complete selection of ARFA. 12 helmets from HJC at speedaddicts.com. And remember, free returns, free shipping, fast shipping nationwide here in the US of A. Okay, HJC, one of the top producers in the world for many years. Over the last 18 months or so, they've revamped essentially their entire lineup. So this, this new ARFA 12 will have some of those same cues that you've seen rolled out onto the new ARFA series and other HJC helmets. Uh, since 2023, but it's keeping that same DNA of the ARFA 11 in that it is compact and it is ultra lightweight. So that was the point of this helmet. This is a sport helmet made for aggressive street riding primarily and potentially track more on that in a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, that was our number one customer for the ARFA 11, which is right here, was aggressive street riders and thus some aggressive graphic packages followed. Here we have the Punisher, their collabs with Marvel and some other companies like Activision. All sorts of cool stuff has come from this helmet, the ARFA 11, that's going to be rolled over the 12. I know they got a new Venom coming on the ARFA 12 that's absolutely bitching. You guys are gonna like that. So if you want graphics with attitude, you want ultra lightweight, compact sporting helmet, here it is. It is the ARFA 12 new and slightly tweaked and improved. The other nice thing is that it's not going to break the bank compared to some of the ultra high-end sport helmets out there these days that can approach $1,000. Yes, helmets with a comma in them, that can really hurt. Here, you're at 484 to 554, which is uh, quite nice for a, a premium sport bike helmet that is right around three pounds. The extra large we put on the scale just to make sure uh, extra large for my fat head is going to weigh 3.3 pounds, which is actually identical to an extra large for the old ARFA 11, which is great. They have not screwed that up. We see that sometimes as helmets are iterated, sometimes they tend to put on weight that hasn't happened here. So if you liked your ARFA 11, you're gonna dig this because it is improved, but still very lightweight. So the shell construction, also the same PIM, PIM Evo shell, which is a tri-material uh, composite, so they're using carbon fiber, aramid fibers, and glass, 3.3 pounds. This is DOT homologated and an intermediate oval fit. Now before we get into fit, we do have to say that this is um, noticeably not dual homologated, so we do not see a Snell or an ECE in addition to the DOT, and that is something that uh, we hope changes in the future, we're not sure. We've seen some manufacturers kind of struggle with threading the needle between the DOT rating and the EC at the same time. And a lot of manufacturers are also updating their lines for those new standards. So it's been hard to get any information about that. Um, but if you're going to the track, we ha just have to call this out. It is a DOT only helmet uh, at the time of launch here. And we'll kind of see what happens into the future. But I know I had a lot of the RF11 guys at the track uh, with that EC2205 rating. And so we'll just kind of see see what happens in the future with that. So extra small through to extra large. And let's move the Punisher out of the way just for a minute so you can check out the line. So extra small through 2X. The fit is, it runs the same as the RF11, but slightly tweaked to just be a little bit more comfortable. Now, when it comes to fit, remember, if you're shopping with Speed Addicts, you get free returns. That's right. We're not going to nickel and dime you on that return label like those other guys. You know who I'm talking about. We don't do that here. We're going to treat you like family and make helmet shopping very easy on your wallet and easy for you. You print a free return label on our site, get a different size, color, or your money back. The choice is yours. Okay. We'll bring the Punisher back over. Here's the back end. The cues are there, right? So we got the same kind of hyper lip here. 
and then we have a diffuser with exhaust ports on the rear. The overall shape has not been manipulated too much, but the front uh, ventilation or intake package is slightly redesigned. Instead of this kind of basic slider here that is underwhelming, just in terms of the size and the design, they've gone with this kind of new, more modern eyebrow vent, which is cool. They've stuck with these rubber coated little spinny, spinny, like wheel vents. It's kind of unique. We don't really see a lot of these, but they've stuck with that same thing. While they're small, they are rubber coated and they have a little nub on them so you can get after them with your gloves. Not my favorite vent control, but it is progressive. So they're not all the way on or all the way off. You do have a few spots in between, so you can kind of fine tune the ventilation. And I do like the Stingray design. It looks real good and it's a lot like that 11, but they improved this eyebrow vent. Down low, you'll notice the vent is very similar down here. So we have the extractors for your hot mouth air to be pulled out of the helmet. Those are always going to be on. And then the front blower that's gonna put air onto the glass or the face shield and up through your forehead area, that is switchable. And they've made that a little bit bigger and easier to locate with a glove just like so. It's got a nice premium feel, no vibration or play, which is what you'd expect with the Arfa line, which is that top tier um, higher end department within HJC. And it also carries an extra warranty. So standard HJC helmets only come with three years, which is still pretty good, but the Arfa line all come with five years, which is great. So they're gonna stand behind all of the accessories and moving parts on this helmet. Another thing that they improved is the visor lock. So instead, for all the things I liked about this helmet, this is probably my least favorite part was this, they decided to go with metal so that you made sparks when you face planted, I, so people can laugh at you. But really, it, you had to pinch this, and I've, I saw plenty of these. It had a little plastic lock that slid sideways. You had to pinch it, push it down, and then you could lock it. Whew. It's like overcomplicated and not super durable is how I would put that. So not my favorite. They've definitely improved it. They've gone with the side draft integrated lock, which is part of this chin bar, very smoothly integrated here. So you still get a nice positive lock. You get a secure face shield, but you don't get extra moving parts out on the outside and this big protrusion here. So if you wanna open that up, you can pop it for a demist setting, just kind of bring it up gently. And then it is detented. Is that a word? I guess we can call it detented. Woo. So this final detent has got a big pull on it. It's kind of spring loaded. It's gonna pop in the fully open position. Before that, you do have some pretty solid detents. So if you wanna ride a little bit of airflow or you got glasses on, you can go all the way up. Okay, so in terms of the exterior, you can see the cues coming through from that 11. The interior are also pretty similar. Most people probably wouldn't notice the difference. We have a few extra panels over here, which we'll show you. So this is a little bit more um, they got the Marvel liner on this one. So just a few extra panels and details. Otherwise, nothing huge in terms of the changes in the interior. Now the face shield, besides the lock, the pivot mechanism is completely different. We have this new, more modern Triforce design. It's basically like a rotary motor on the side of your helmet. It's this tumbling triangle, which is pretty cool. I am sure some heavy engineering went into these. All the different companies are continually coming out with new versions of this piece of the helmet and then patenting it and then fighting with each other. And this one's truly like out of the box and different, which I like. So this is kind of a more basic design. Honestly, it's not very aesthetically pleasing when you have a clear shield on it. Um, this new one is more tapered. So you see how the face shield tapers back. It's just more modern design, much better looking. And functionally, it feels good. Like I said, that final position, it's gonna kind of pull back and snap into place. And if you want to change your visor, you're gonna put in the open position, pull this trigger, and then you will be able to remove it. While we're speaking about visors, you have a 99% UV protected anti-scratch HJ42. Yeah, they use alphabet soup for their shield models in HJC world. 
they're gonna include not only the clear, but they're gonna include a smoke, okay? So this is like a dark smoke. It's gonna be included in the box for approximately that $500 price point, which is a added bonus as is the pin lock insert. So one of these will also be in the box. If you're not familiar, the pin lock insert goes on the inside of the face shield. That's going to reduce or mitigate fog. So fog is a problem, pin lock is the way to go. And they're gonna include one. So if you want one on each shield, you need to buy an extra. Otherwise, you might be trying to chase them back and forth and that's annoying and you'll break it. You also have a tear off prepped shield here. So if you're gonna run tear offs, um, you can with this. They're not gonna include any it's sold separately and that's what this tab is about. They have it nice and back. They've located it as far back as they could so it's not in your peripheral vision, but a lot of people ask what the hell is this thing? It's for running tear offs. And so if you get debris at the track, you can remove those. Or I know some people that will even use them on the street if it's extremely buggy and they're really ripping canyons, they don't want uh, a bunch of bugs in their vision. Okay, so new face shield. We're ready to climb inside. Let's check out the ARFA 12 from the interior. Notice <clears throat> more stitchy, more panels. We do have some reflective piping here. In addition, uh, ex emergency release tabs here to pull. You get a chin curtain kind of the standard creature comforts for a helmet of this price point. Let's go ahead and remove the cheek pads. I will call out that there is plenty of space to mount a comm system, not an integrated version, but there will be a comm system of your choosing. You'll be able to mount it here and there are speaker pockets on the inside, but they've made sure not to put any unusual or dramatic styling on the shell here so you don't have to contend with anything which is good because so many of our customers are running comm systems these days here is your cheek pad system one and the same with the neck roll here a nice piece moisture wicking which is what we would expect make sure when you get the helmet that it fits nice and snug out of the box you want it to fit tight but not cause discomfort try it on your living room once you wear it on your bike it is yours you wear it on the living room you need a different size, you're gonna get a free return and we'll exchange it, uh, get you a different color, whatever you need to do. Okay, there's your other cheek pad, nice 3D foam. They even stand up on their own. If we remove the cheek pad, you see that speaker pocket there and you're ready to run Cardo, Pack Talk, whatever you're running. The speaker pockets are quite large, so even the bigger JBL speakers from the guys over at Cardo will fit. All right. Now we have the liner out of the way. You see the channeled imported EPS airflow, no issue here. High performance airflow all over that forehead, that brow vent that we showed you earlier. It's going to make contact with your noggin and keep you cool. They even ported the comfort liner here so that, that air line, that those holes line up with the EPS holes. They've gone with the eyebrow clip so there's no pressure points from snaps in the forehead. You do have them in the back, which is pretty standard. Otherwise, a very simple footprint on this liner. You notice there's lots of material not there, which is great. That means the airflow that's moving through the helmet can actually make it onto your scalp. Keep you cool, keep you making good decisions out on the road. It's also antimicrobial, multi-density EPS liner inside and a five year warranty from the folks over at HJC, which is about three years longer than the industry standard and a nice perk from the ARFA line. So, if you've never considered the ARFA Sport Helmet, which was the 11 and is now the 12 before, you should if you're after a small footprint and ultra lightweight, or maybe one of their unique and spicy graphics will make you interested. We've got the full lineup over at speedaddicts.com. If you still got questions, go talk to the rider support team. They are there to help you over the phone, email, or live chat. That's it for today. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.